Back in 2011, the April Watchtower had a special chart entitled Steps to Making Good Decisions. It listed these steps in making wise decisions. 1. Avoid being presumptuous. Do you see yourselves as modern-day disciples, the modern-day equivalent of Jesus' disciples? Uh, we certainly hope to follow Jesus and be his disciples. And do you see yourselves as Jehovah God's spokespeople on earth? Uh, that, I think, would seem to be quite presumptuous to, to say that uh, we are the only spokesperson that God is using. Uh, the, clear, the scriptures clearly show uh, that uh, someone can act in harmony with God's Spirit in uh, giving comfort and help in the congregations. Two, do research. Three, pray for wisdom. Four, Make the decision. Five, implement the decision. But then there was an additional step. Six, review and adjust. Why is step six listed? Well, from time to time, we need to review decisions we've already made. As we do so, perhaps we'll come to realize that some of them were not the best decisions such as getting baptized as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Perhaps that's a decision where we can review and adjust. We've been watching governing body member Jeffrey Jackson speaking on the theme Make Wise Decisions in the April 2023 JW Broadcasting episode. I couldn't help but laugh when he started talking about the need to avoid being presumptuous in the context of what he famously said when giving evidence before the Australian Royal Commission in 2015, when pressed as to whether the governing body considers itself to be a spokesperson or spokespeople for God. All of a sudden, it was a case of, oh, well, we wouldn't want to be presumptuous. <laughs> and he changed the question from are you speaking on behalf of God to are you acting on behalf of God? And he said, well, of course, God can act through, you know, people who are doing acts of kindness in the congregation. Really shady, shifty behavior that was completely, in my view, disrespectful of the occasion. He's giving evidence before a government public inquiry and he can't answer a simple question. He has one message for Jehovah's Witnesses. We are the channel that God is using. And another message entirely when it comes to facing external scrutiny. In this case, scrutiny by a public inquiry that is tasked with rooting out the cover-up of child sexual abuse. How shifty. This is the sort of man we're dealing with. This is the sort of man who believes that he has the right to tell you what sort of decisions you should be making.